Hello everyone, and welcome to episode 12 of Minecraft Vanilla Super Flat Survival. Um, and in this episode, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and trade with some of the villagers. And I thought this through a bit, and um, I kind of AFK'd here a while, and I still haven't gotten any more redstone. Um, and like I said before, I'm going to use the redstone infinite obsidian glitch to cast a portal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and get some redstone. And I th at first I thought that I can only get it from the grinder. But then I remembered one thing is that I can actually get redstone from, um, from villager trading as well. So if I trade with villager priests, I can get redstone from that as well. So, um, and, and that village over there, I think... Yes, in that village over there, I did actually find um, a villager farmer that is willing to trade 19 uh, wheat for one emerald. So I bone mealed quite a bit of wheat, and then I have about three stacks or so. So now I'm going to go and trade with the villagers right now. Um, what I'm planning to do with the redstone, though, is I actually want to create the um, semi-automatic food farm before I actually create... Uh, before I actually create the nether portal, and the reason for that is, oh wait, I think that the village is that way, yes. I might be wrong, but I think it's that way. Uh, also, if you notice, do you see that wall of dyes over there? And let me just show you real quick. Um, yes, this is the old village. You have to go to that village over there. I just uh, forgot which village it, it, um, it is in. I also walled off some more villagers, some villager librarians willing to trade uh, a few emeralds for bookcases and stuff like that. Uh, so I have this wall of uh, dyed wool, and the reason for that is I created this little area for which I will uh, make, in which I will make dyed wool. I'll explain that later because I don't want to lose daylight, uh, since I should get on going before the night falls and I don't want to go to the village while it's night time so uh, I better get going and for some reason my chicken despawned inside that little house over there so unfortunately we're not that close to building a chicken farm because they just keep on glitching out which uh, kind of sucks but I can't really much about it I did read on the internet or on YouTube somewhere that uh, it is possible to make uh, a completely floating chicken farm that pushes the chickens inside um, inside the center with water streams that makes it impossible for them to glitch out, but uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that, so, yeah. Um, and also, one thing that I'm planning to do is make a villager breeder soon, and to make a villager breeder, I have to transport the villagers from somewhere over there all the way back to my base over back there, and I also have to make sure that that village back there is no longer a functioning village. I think I might actually deconstruct that village over there just because um, I can't make villager breeders closer than 100 blocks to um, to a village that is already uh, like an already existing village, so... Okay, let me just do it real quick. Like I said before, my priorities is going to be that... Oh, it's weird. It's kind of glitching in there. That's weird. Uh, like I said before, my priorities will be that I will make a semi-automatic food farm at first. Then I'm also planning to make a nether portal, uh, some other redstone build, some automatic... Uh, maybe a redstone mob grinder, but that's going to be kind of far off. So, And you can already see the villagers that I kind of walled in here. Uh, let's see... Okay, is this the one? Yes, I also need this villager as well because it's a very important villager. I should uh, get some melons from him as well. I gotta be careful so these slimes don't get me. So, okay, I'm gonna get some uh, some carrots just because I'm running low. Okay, butcher, can't trade with that. Don't have uh, paper. Uh, yes, this is the one that I need. Getting some. Wow, this is nice. Yes. Oh, he doesn't want to trade anymore. Yeah, that's his last trade. So I got seven emeralds. That's good enough. Uh, okay, I'm tired of the slime. Make sure not to hit any of the villagers because then I don't want them to be mad at me. Um, okay, how's that? Oh, yeah, these are small. These are small slimes. They're not going to be anything bad to me. Okay, so I have seven. 
seven emeralds now, and I have to find the villager priest that is willing to trade. Um, nope. Don't need you. Librarian, nope, can't do that. I think that encased the villagers somewhere around here, I'm not sure. Uh... Okay, there's one right here. Oh, that's a nice trade. I'll have to save that for later. Um, well, I hope it's not going to go anywhere, so... Um, now, I think the villagers, the most important villagers, are somewhere around here. Now, let me just put that back so I can put the fence back to make sure that the mobs can't get in. Which they already have gotten in, but anyway... Let's make a little hole here. Okay, I should probably use my... Uh, shovel because that way it's easier okay I've already got one like that okay now I have nine emeralds that's enough to make an emerald block but that's not what I'm here for um, yeah I don't really know oh, another trade unlock oh yay thanks a lot now I have four villagers in here um, now unfortunately I didn't really look this through so I kind of ran out of um, dirt blocks to encase them in, so I'll probably have to uh, mine some dirt out, and I'm just collecting dirt blocks because I need more dirt to encase the villagers in. I really should have taken some dirt from home because I have quite a lot of dirt at home, so. Um, but anyway, like I said, I have to go and find the villager priest that is willing to trade two redstone for an emerald. And I think it's he trades as much as four redstone to um, an emerald, and the least he trades is two redstone for an emerald. Um, and this is actually probably the worst deal because I'm not getting much emeralds. I, I mean, I'm not getting much redstone for my emeralds, but it's better than uh, not having any redstone. So, um, let me see. Is this the one? Yes, this is the one. I'm going to buy off the redstone that I can. Okay, I'm just going to trade one just so I can see. Maybe he's going to unlock another trade for me and just jump up real quick because they might get me. Um, okay, I this is actually very useful because I already have an iron sword with me uh, at home with me. So I'll make sure to save that for later. But I'm going to trade all that I can. And wow, now we have 18 redstone. That's just simply amazing. Oh, crap. I really should have not dropped that. Yeah, this is not good. Oh, there we go. Now encase them him again. Let's go and take our 14 redstone. Wait, I thought I had 18 redstone. Actually, oh no, I, I just miscounted. Yeah, anyway, so I'm going to go and take that 14 redstone back home. And now we can use that redstone to make some... Uh, I'm going to just collect these bookshelves here, just in case. And I'm going to use this redstone to make another portal and to make a semi-automatic food farm. I'm going to go and make some dispensers as well when I get home. So, yeah, that's what it's going to be used for. Um, okay, now I don't really need cookies. Um, it's kind of useless. Uh, I do have... I do have two emeralds left, so... If there are any other villager trades that I might be interested in... Uh, I don't know, maybe, maybe not. Oh, yes, this is what I was going to buy. I was going to buy some melons. Well, I'm only going to buy one just because I can craft it into, uh, and craft that all into seed just to make sure I don't eat that. And I'm going to start a, a farm there, so. Okay, now, this is kind of useless, so I'll just leave you be here. Um, I don't like killing the villagers who have bad... Okay, I'm actually... I should probably go inside and collect the uh, bookcases right here. Uh, now, like I said before, I don't actually like killing the villagers that give me bad deals. Uh, the reason is because if most of the villagers here die out because of zombie sieges or something like that, um, I'm gonna have to rebuild the village and uh, rebreed the village, and I really hate doing that, so... Um, I encase all of the useless villagers as well because they can be just used for breeder villagers to make more... Uh, villagers to make more villagers so yeah um okay there's quite a bit of spawning now make sure that all of this is despawned just so they don't get attacked or anything from naturally spawned zombies i actually read on the wiki that um on the minecraft wiki that zombie sieges actually were disabled because of a glitch from 1.4.2 to uh, something like 1.8 
So in this version of Minecraft, which I'm playing in, in 1.7.10, uh, I'm I'm fairly certain that there's actually no zombie sieges in th in this version of Minecraft. But um, the villagers can still. Okay. Okay. Yeah, this is not good. Oh, that's really nice. He burped, and then I got some more hunger. So um, I, I'm able to run away of those tiny pesky baby villagers um so how am i going to transport the villagers from the village back there to the village here i think i'm going to build a boat canal system with water pushing the villagers um in and also yeah i forgot to tell you guys is that a creeper exploded here so uh that wasn't really fun i'll make sure no creepers explode this once more Okay. Okay, there's some more creepers over there. Um, yeah, there's way too many mobs there. I'm just going to go to the next entrance right here. Uh, actually, what happened one time is that a zombie managed to knock this door down. And as some of you probably know, I'm playing in difficulty hard. So, that means zombies can actually knock down the wooden doors. So, uh, if I get if I get other doors, like if I... Um, when I make an iron farm out of the villagers, uh, then I'm probably going to have to replace all of the doors and the outposts. Um, I'm going to replace them with iron doors because the zombies can't knock down iron doors even in hard mode so uh, okay let me take that redstone here so now we have 16 redstone now I'm gonna go and finally do some redstone projects which is going to be quite epic uh, let me put that M one emerald right here um, I actually think I should have um, of all the chests that I don't have is actually I don't have a villager trading chest so well I don't think I'm gonna need one since I haven't actually made uh, an artificial trading village yet, so I'm just gonna put some melon seeds right here. Or no, I probably should put in the agriculture chest. Yeah, that's gonna be for a later project. I'm gonna start a melon farm, so. Um, okay, now this is what we're going to do now. Uh, I'm going to make some... I'm going to have to go and get some string so I could make some bows. And the reason that I'm gonna make some bows is so I can make dispensers. Um, and let me see. So let's craft up some bows. Uh, I'm probably gonna make three or so, so yeah. Okay, just so they can fit in my inventory. I forgot to put one right here. Okay, so this is how I'm gonna make the uh, dispensers. This is the crafting recipe. I know it by heart. Oh, it's actually like that. Yeah, I just flipped over. Um, so let me just make some more, probably three from all the three bows that I have. Uh, now take one from here, put a bow in, take one from here, put another bow in. Um, now let's see, should we make more? Yes, I'm going to make some more. Um, I want to actually make five, at least five, probably that's how much I'm going to make. Um, let me see put some cobblestone here yeah it also kind of drains a bit of my cobblestone as well so that's kind of an issue as well and I haven't really made much cobblestone I haven't really made any cobblestone since I was making the squid farm so I think I'll have to make some more cobble uh, but like I said before I'm actually going to also make an automatic um, co AFK cobblestone generator with the rest of the redstone that I have and I'm also gonna trade more uh, now I can now create the farm that I want to make. Um, I think it's gonna be right over here. Um, so how's this gonna go? One, two, three, four. I should use a one, two, three, four, five. So below that, I'm going to go grab a bucket, and then I'm going to put some water down there. And that's going to keep all of the um, of the farmland nice and wet so that it's going to grow really quickly. Um, actually, that's not really required, but I just don't like having to... Oh, let me just place that right here to make an infinite water source. I can take that. Yep, there we go. Uh, so like I said before, I actually don't want to have to... Um, always till the ground if it's dry, so that's why I'm gonna place it like so. 
um, then place these dispensers like that make sure to shift click um, so underneath that is gonna be the water right here and I'm gonna have to go grab my hoe real quick which is supposed to be somewhere around here yep here's my stone hoe um, till some ground right here and you can see the uh, you can see the um, water down there so that's nice um, I actually think I shouldn't have torches here um, and so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that and yes it's going it's becoming wet farmland now so I think my redstone clock ticking thingy is going to be right here because I don't want to put it right there so I'm going to put the redstone dust right over here um, now we should have enough right now um, uh, yeah, now I'm gonna destroy all this farmland here. I don't need any of this anymore, which is really nice, because now I can finally use this area for land usage. Uh, just destroy all of that real quick. Um, and I think when I finish this... Oh, we got one poisonous potato. And when, when we finish this little, um... Uh, automatic farm here, semi-automatic farm, that's when we're gonna end the episode, and I do have enough redstone for that, so... Uh, I do have to jump up here just so I can destroy the farmland here because I need the space for my redstone clock area. So, yeah, in the alpha version of the game in Minecraft, if any of you are old-time Minecraft players, you know that the uh, farmland actually turned into regular dirt much easier than it does in the current version of Minecraft. Um, because in the version of alpha or inf dev, even if you walked by like this, it would turn into just regular dirt. But here, I can even hop on it, and it doesn't always turn into dirt. So, um, But that's just a little game mechanic there. So, um, I'm going to place it like so. Now I'm going to have to make some redstone torches. So I need three redstone torches. I really hope we'll have enough. I'm, I'm pretty sure we'll have enough, yeah. Uh, so, there we go, we made three, yes, and I'm fairly sure we'll have enough, so place that right like that, like that, place some blocks here, right here, and also have to make a lever, oh, we'll only have one redstone left over, so that would be nice, um, I'm also going to, actually, when I get a bit more redstone, I think I'm going to extend this one more, and what's great about this build is I can extend it farther here, and it will still work just as well, it will just be much easier, and it will be a bit more efficient, um, now I have to make a lever, so let me just make a lever real quick, uh, or, or a lever, depending on how you pronounce that. I'll place the lever right here, make sure to flip it so that it doesn't start going. And there we go, it's done. And to demonstrate, I'm going to go place this redstone back into the chest right here. Uh, let's see if any witches spawn that might give us more redstone. Nope, haven't gotten any more. Um, let me see... So there we go. Um, and now I can use this to make practically anything. I actually have to go and just put down some of the items that I got from the grinder and some of the items that I have in my inventory, like the slime balls, just so I can clear up my inventory for making the um, the wheat there. I'm going to use the wheat to trade with more villagers, so that would be great. Um, put some potatoes right here, poisonous potato here. Or should it be down here just because I don't really need it. And it's not really a thing that I'm going to eat. Um, okay, now have we got any books? So now we have almost a stack of books, which is great. Um, let me see. My inventory is kind of really messed up right now. Oh, yes, I have to put down the buckets because I'm not going to need them for a while. Uh, and now what I'm going to have to do is gonna I'm going to go get some bones from my... Uh, storage area craft them all into bone meal and then that way I can fill up all of the um, I actually want to fill up each one of these to the brim so that's gonna require quite a bit of bones so I'm gonna go get another stack and I also remember putting some bones in that outhouse right here in my bulk storage area okay I just accidentally placed accidentally placed a string right there um, so yeah, now I have quite a bit of bones here, which I'm going to use to fill up all of the dispensers right there. 
Um, okay. Wow, there's just so many mobs falling that I can barely even collect the drops. Um, place that. I don't need more than a stack of arrows at once. Uh, we're already filling up on rotten flesh. Um, okay, we'll have to craft some more. And uh, one bone, one stack of bones actually creates three stacks of bone meal. So we need three stacks of bones to fill up one dispenser. Uh, so let's go and craft some more. Um, I'm not really sure if we'll have enough or not, but it's okay because I always have a steady supply of bones coming in from the grinder, and we can hear those skeletons dying right now, so. And if I don't have enough, I could just spread them out equally, so that would be nice as well. Uh, now, now I'm kind of clearing out my inventory so that I can place some more right here. Yeah, unfortunately, it looks like we do not have enough bones to fill up the whole thing. Um... That is kind of a pity. Um, let's see. I also think we have some bones in the house right here. Yep, we have some. Almost a stack of bones here. We could use that to fill up some more as well. Uh, let's go and fill it up. Uh, we don't need that much bones to fill it up. I'll be filling it up once I get more bones. So, um, Oh. Now, let's see. I really hope we get some redstone right now. I've actually killed some more witches, and none of them have dropped redstone. And, oh, crap. Looks like it dropped some gunpowder once more. Gunpowder is so useless, and the witches keep on dropping it. But uh, it's okay. I don't really need redstone as much as I used to need it. Um, I've gotten quite a bit more of it. And I've already got this build going thanks to the villager trading, so that's great. Um... I hope you found this Let's Play to be enjoyable. I hope you learned something about redstone. Okay, let's just kill the switch, and you can actually kill it through this right here, which is kind of nice. Oh, wow. How did I just suddenly get so much witches? Okay, if one of these witches doesn't drop redstone, I'm, it's going to be quite unlikely. I already see some glowstone, so that's not bad. Okay, please. Oh, yes, we got a piece of redstone. We might be able to add some more to it, and we have more witches dropping. That's really epic. Okay, looks like we got two redstone, which is really nice. That means I can add another one of these units here because I need two redstone to add another one in. So that'll be okay. Um, okay, now we have enough to make some glowstone dust. Uh, I mean, to make a glowstone piece. And now I'm going to go up, and then actually I'm going to go put inside on the bottom of the uh, squid spawner. Like I promised, I'm going to put down some uh, glowstone there because it's really... Uh, I want to light up the bottom of the uh, squid pool, so I'm just going to go and do that real quick. Uh, okay, looks like we have quite a bit of squid spawning here. Uh, now, I'm not really sure how I'm going to go about this. I think that I'm going to just mine out a block here or something like that, and then I'm going to place some glowstone down here. And every other block, I'm going to have glowstone placed here, so... Okay, let's hope that I have enough fresh air... Yeah, that didn't work out too well. Okay, so. I don't know how long I'm able to stay down here. Oh, there we go, there we go. I wonder if it can actually fall down there. Um, yeah, it's kind of blocking it a bit. Um, I'm just going to kill off some of these because they're just in the way. And there we go. So what I'm going to do is every other block so I think I'm also gonna place no every other two blocks so I'm also gonna place a glowstone right here and then next there so every time I get a glowstone piece I'm gonna go down here and light up another part of the pool until it's completely lit up and it makes sense to use glowstone oh, I almost ate the flesh I have carrots um, it makes sense to light up the pool with glowstone because I really don't have um, a use for glowstone and I can use torches on like areas that are not underwater but for um, for underwater purposes, I can only use glowstone since I don't have access to pumpkins in Super Flat Survival. Uh, so glowstone is the only way to light up the bottom of um, underwater areas. So wow, it looks like it almost glitched out there. So uh, I hope you, I hope you enjoyed this let's play. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, this is Mine Kralix. See you all in the next episode. Uh, off camera work, as far as off camera work goes, I'm probably gonna. Oh, wow, I can go out so far. As far as off camera work goes, I'm probably gonna um I'm probably gonna
go find some more villages probably um i might also construct if i feel like it i also might construct a rapid waterway right there to that village so i can bring some villagers over uh, I might add, I will certainly, oh, you can see the glowstone down there too. Uh, I will almost certainly add uh, another module to my semi-automatic farm. Uh, I might trade with some more villagers, I don't know. Um, I did run out of redstone and I do need more, so uh, that's what I'll be doing. So, uh, this is Minecraft. thank you very much for watching. This was episode 12 of Minecraft Vanilla Superflat Survival. Um, see you all in the next episode.